फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट देयर इज डिस्टिंक्शन बिटवीन द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ पावर्स बाय द चीफ जस्टिस इन फ्रेमिंग द रूल्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द कंडीशन ऑफ सर्विस ऑफ ऑफिसर्स एंड सर्वेंट्स ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट अंडर आर्टिकल टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाइन इंक्लूडिंग द पावर ऑफ मॉडिफिकेशन एंड वेरिएशंस ऑफ द रूल्स ऑफ द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एप्लीकेबल टू द हाई कोर्ट इम्प्लॉयज बाय वर्चू ऑफ पावर प्रिजर्वड अंडर रूल फिफ्टी ऑफ द रूल ऑफ नाइनटीन नाइन्टी टू एंड द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ पावर्स बाय द चीफ जस्टिस एज एग्जीक्यूटिव हैड ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट एस्टाब्लिशमेंट अंडर द रूल्स फ्रेम्ड बाय हिम द चीफ जस्टिस हैज टू फॉलो द रूल्स फ्रेम्ड बाय हिम पंक्चुअली एंड फेथफुली एज अदर्स आर टू फॉलो एनी ब्रीच ऑफ रूल बाय द चीफ जस्टिस कैन नॉट बी कंस्ट्यूड एज एक्सरसाइज ऑफ पावर ऑफ मॉडिफिकेशन of rules reverting to the direction dated 2nd september 1997 in my view the honorable the then acting chief justice was in error in considering that the 12 persons against whom there were adverse remarks could be excluded from the zone of consideration what is the effect of adverse remarks in the acr was a matter for the selection committee to consider a person cannot be excluded from the zone of consideration for the reason that there is adverse entry similarly it was wrong to consider that six persons against whom departmental inquiry was pending could be excluded from the zone of consideration if the departmental inquiry is pending against a person in the eligibility list the selection committee is required to follow a known procedure of sealed cover thus the very premises on which the zone of consideration has been extended is contrary to law it is stated that up to 1979 promotions were given on the basis of seniority cum merit the merit was considered on the basis of confidential reports and other service record however thereafter a method of judging the capacity of the senior assistants due for promotion to hold the supervisory post of section officer from their performance on the tables on which they were working was not found adequate and therefore it became necessary to evolve some method in addition to the consideration of the confidential reports and other service record whereby the suitability or otherwise of the candidate can be assessed properly in the interest of office efficiency it is also submitted that the system of taking written and oral test to assess suitability or otherwise on a comparative evaluation of the eligible candidates thus came into existence after 1979 in november 1979 the honorable the then chief justice directed to take interview of the assistants concerned and prepare select list in the order of merit they were also tested by asking them to prepare some submissions thereafter in the year 1981 written test and oral interview were taken on 31st july 82 in para 14 it is stated that the selection committee also considered the adverse reports recorded in the acr against the candidates this fact does not find confirmation 
from the proceedings of oral test thus the honorable chief justice in his wisdom while exercising the powers under article 229 of the constitution of india in framing rule 47 of the rules of 1992 provided combination of three components that is past performance written test and oral test for determination of merit in the matter of promotion on selection post however the mechanism evolved prior to 1992 has been carried forward unmindful of the fact that it does not contain the important component of past performance without over emphasizing the importance of past performance it cannot be disputed that for recruitment from among the persons of matured personality appraisal of past performance is the basic and essential requirement stop